What's up ladies and gents, this is of course your crypto enthusiast and your favorite airdrop hunter light here and today obviously we are going to be talking about the airdrop season. Now I was originally supposed to do this video on like the 15th or something but so many things have happened since the monthly issue which came out on like November 30th or something so eight days ago and so many new drops have been announced uh, so far that I had to do this video now and we might have to do a third video at the end of the month because so many things are in motion right now and I wasn't really kidding on my last video when I said you should drop out from school and you should quit your job because I just counted how much money I have made airdrops this year so far and it's actually 30 okay so that's a quite a lot of money to be made from grinding grinding air bar airdrops and I wasn't doing that full time I wasn't doing grinding every day every month so there's that but let's go on and I just want to thank everybody who voted on the last tutorial round. We did the base uh, blockchain and next up we're going to be having Polygon ZK EVM. And after that, we're going to be having another vote. And keep being active here. You can obviously suggest here on the comments, obviously, for new chains, new projects, which we're going to be going through. And then Centra. Now let's talk about also my new amazing doc file. And there's a lot of different things here. We have SoFi airdrops listed here. We have all the layer twos. Are they on testnet phase, mainnet phase? Have they confirmed airdrop? What is their allocation of airdrop? Have there been private sales? And I am updating this on much as I can. There's a lot of different chains here which allow you to basically start earning. There's going to be many airdrops. Might be the biggest airdrop season next year. And also the most important part of the list is this whole dap thing where I've listed basically all big dabs. There's a lot of things missing from the list that I'm updating it on real time. So a um, lot of different wallets, DEXs, NFT markets, domains, etc. I have listed many things here and I will be adding more of them in the future. So you can basically grind out and I have added out what are the chances of these specific dApps doing a, you know, an airdrop next. So a lot of in good uh, high IQ intel here. But let's get into the list. And there has been this new um, Twitter farming thing going on. There's been two, well, there has been basically three protocols. Xapi was kind of the first thing. It kind of was forgotten. It became irrelevant. Now we have this thing called Streak. And you just need to add Streak basically on your tweets. And basically you get points. And these points are accumulated. The more you will be tweeting on a daily basis, streaks and stuff like that. This is kind of like something you can do alongside with the other one, which we're going to be talking about, which is more important than the uh, the streak coin, in my opinion. But streak is something more prominent players in the space. The other one is called Portal Coin, and this does require you to have hundred followers on Twitter, so they're a bit of an entry point. Obviously, a lot of you don't have that much, and they are going to be having also a pre-sale. And the more I have been looking into this project, more actually I'm bullish on because. There's even a person from Rockstar Games uh, being an advisor board and things like that. And they are building out something really, really interesting here. So more I'm kind of like learning about Portal Coin and their ecosystem or what they're building. Now, what are the people working on? Look at the roster of like companies and games, you know, here. So that's pretty amazing. So a Layer Zero Partner, Magic Eden Partner. So this is one of the more bullish things I'm... I try to get into pre-sale and I also try to get into accumulating points throughout Twitter, but it does require 100 followers, which is a bit of a downside for some of you guys. I understand that it's not very easy to get that, but some of you may have, and I definitely recommend farming out Streak and Portal Coin. Now, the first drop here on the list is called uh, Hytopia. This is a, like Minecraft style of a game, and um, this is basically just needing your email registration and already 4.1 million have registered and basically by signing up you're going to be getting two exclusive lawn luge boxes obviously people are buying this thing i don't know if there's going to be some type of kyc or some other stuff later on maybe not but whatever it's just an email sign up and username and basically you get these free drops and you're basically going to be getting one extra for everyone you refer after Another drop that was announced today is the Namada. And we actually talked about this eight days ago. I mentioned that they're going to be doing a drop for Zcash holders. Well, they didn't do that. 
technically they <laughs> decided that we're going to be giving it to the Zcash developers but also people who have interacted on Cosmos and Osmosis and also did tips through Gitcoin got into the airdrop. So I got one Ethereum wallet and I got my Cosmos and Osmosis as I usually do. Wasn't available for Stargaze. And there are a couple of um, different criteria for this, but um, I think this is gonna be a big privacy coin player going on to the next cycle. And it might be de facto privacy coin because there's not really that many new ones coming out which are very prominent. So Namada might be worth a lot, but I have to say, how it will turn out. And it's very interesting what they're building out. Next up, we have a project called Stealthy, and they have some real estate NFT going on and anybody can basically mint this, but right now the Ethereum gas fees are kind of high. And this might be playing into, I don't know, NFT drops and other things in the future, but obviously don't pay the high gas fee here, but it definitely something to look into. There's only thousand of them, so that's interesting. But who knows how this, I just kind of randomly found out about this. So I had to do more research on the project, but hey, it's a free NFT mint, so why not? Then we have the Apollo Farm, and Apollo obviously was a project on Luna Terra before the even end crash happened. And now they're basically coming back and giving out money to people who were doing the original Apollo Farms liquid yields and currently they have neutron farms here as well and in case you want to participate on that they have also APY and the airdrop is probably going to be happening in a couple of days so that's and there's six snapshots that's been taken out of the USD DPEC so I the criteria number changes all the time but I, I don't know how much I'm going to be getting but uh, like got like 10 or something I don't know if that's a lot or not much we will see then we have another free NFT mint on scroll. And this is another way to kind of gain free scroll transactions. And it's like not really that much to mint this. I think it's showing out $1 right now. The gas fees are kind of high as of right now. Let's see if we can actually reduce the gas fee. How it's still telling us a $1, but um, yeah, there's plenty of them left. If you want to accumulate transactions, and it's also promoted by this website, this creator land. So there's that too. But I thought I would be including it. Then we have um, Solana based airdrop, which is actually some people got thousands out of this. So this seemed to be very lucrative called Jido. And all you had to do basically had one Solana staked in their system to be eligible. I didn't do this. I basically did everything else like Jet Protocol, marinade, parrot soul, all of these Solana staking, liquidity staking protocols, and those were worthless drops, but Jito was the one that I didn't do, and this is the end outcome of that. So congratulations for people who got the Jito airdrop. Um, then we have Mint blockchain, another new layer two blockchain for NFTs, and they have this guild pass thing, which is probably one of the criterias for their airdrop. We're probably going to be doing a more closer eventual airdrop video on this sp chain specifically, but I thought I would be including this because this is easy, easy task to do. Then we have a bunch of announcements. One of them is by Binance. Binance have now this Web3 wallet thing. And by doing swaps on the Web3 wallet, you have chance to win basically one BTC from each trade. And I added some money there and I'm gonna be doing some swaps. It's only on, on the phone, Joe, just so you know. I don't think there's an extension version, but it's a pretty good airdrop, um, you know, promotion. It's gonna be running till the end of December. So swap to win. And then we have Butterfly application. They are now giving out free lens profiles. Lens are probably gonna be having their own airdrop. It's gonna be Pretty big social thing in my opinion. And everybody who has an ENS domain or Farcaster profile now can claim a free Lens profile. Lens profiles are currently valued like $14 or something before this where they were like 45. But um, if you have an ENS domain, definitely go claim it. It's it's basically free because it's on, on Polygon so you don't have to pay the gas fees. And it's free 15 bucks or you wanna hold it and maybe get an airdrop. So just saying. 
And then one of the biggest news of the day is the Layer 0 has now officially announced that there is going to be a Layer 0 token, and that is going to be happening on the first half of 2024. We don't know if that is going to be a sale or airdrop. They talk about distribution, so probably both. And the question is, is it too late to grind? And I would probably say that they are going to be closing this on end of the year. So do your layer zero bridge stuff now before the year ends and you might be still eligible. That's my theory. And Intract has this linear voyage going on. I think this is going to be a huge detriment on eligibility for the Linea airdrop. And I've said this a million times again, Linea is going to be the biggest drop of them all. I think it's going to be bigger than Layer 0. It's going to be bigger than ZK Sync Era. I just think it's going to be the largest. Just because consensus is behind it, you have MetaMask behind it, you just have this shilling network, shilling effect. And doing these tasks here, important. Some of them are a bit tedious, but easy. And it just had a proof of humanity thing, which basically had tasks of doing these, not KYCs, but sort of like identification stuff. And this type of thing shows that it's very important. Like it's a very good way to basically do anti cyber like see if they're bots or not. So that's making me get that this wave six was like the proof for me that, oh, this is going to be an airdrop criteria, 100%. And then we have this application called Do. And do is, well, an aggre NFT aggreg aggregator on Polygon, and they're currently on chapter one. There was a chapter zero, which back then I didn't even know that this existed. And chapter one, basically, you get points by trading NFTs here on the Polygon blockchain, and I think also on Ethereum. And you need to have a profile, which costs eight Matic to basically mint. I don't think that name is going to be enough to get you an airdrop, but the thing about it is that the points will transfer out with the account. So you can mint the profile and then sell it. I'll have 1,000 points on this, and then you can ask for more for it. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, geez, 143 waves. So Ethereum is very congested right now. And that kind of shows that there's so many transactions going on, people are playing on. Like we are like going into bull market. So many cool things going on. But um, we're going to be probably doing some more rounded video on this. And then we have lastly a play to earn airdrop. One of those things which never truly happen. And this is called Kuroro Beasts. It's kind of like a Pokemon style game. Actually very good looking. I kind of played it. And there are a couple of different tasks here. Do we need to connect my Discord here right now? Okay, we can do this. Great. So there are a couple of different tasks here. Most of them are very, very uh, easy. So Discord and Twitter logins, there's this Christmas game thing, and then you have can collect beasts, and if they're from different, you can buy these, basically. And if they're from these types, you're going to be getting these experiences, and these experiences basically rank into the leaderboard, okay? And, um, and there's daily retweets, that's kind of cool, and um, there's going to be more quests coming on. But this is kind of one of those very cool play to earn quests. There is going to be also, you can buy these beasts and there's like two types of beasts. There's like, uh, I think they're called the ancients or something. No, they're called, uh, I think called mythic or something like that. And those mythic ones basically are going to be accumulating your airdrop as well. So those are going to be getting a token. They have a bit more higher floor point on the marketplace, but whatever. That's pretty much what we have to have, what we have. I probably remembered all of them. There was so much information coming out in the last week or so. If you want to be on time with all the news and the drops, you have to be on my Telegram and Discord group to get the latest information and the greatest, latest alpha possible. And from now on also, YouTube has a new feature where the members are able to see these videos first, I guess, or something like that. And then they will be releasing the or public, kind of incentivizing people to become members uh, on the channel. And uh, that's probably gonna be the premieres from now on. So the people who get in first, get to see stuff early, uh, are probably gonna be benefiting the most. But thanks for watching guys, I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.